So nice of you to stop by, Kevin. Enjoy your day. I hope it's productive. Thank you, Raymond. I hope your day is productive as well. PDA in the office? My, my. Couldn't help myself. Hmm. Oh, may I please use the precinct facilities before I head to work? Yes, thank you for asking for permission. Thank you for granting it. Woomp. There it is. Gotta say, I could've used a little more oomph on the woomp. That's the oomphiest woomp we'll get. So what's going on? Why'd you want to meet in private? I need your help with the case. Three antique coins were stolen from my classics department at Columbia. So why not ask Captain Holt for help on the case? Wait, are you guys getting a divorce? I can handle it. This doesn't bring up any weird issues for me. No, it's nothing like that. Raymond's a brilliant detective. It's just, when a case involves me, he can get a little over-emotional. You remember the safe house? Oh yeah, he went crazy. But I also remember you and me becoming best friends and watching every Nick Cage movie ever made. Can you still quote them all? No, I purged myself of that nonsense. I bet it's still in there. That's not, we'll see. We won't. There's a chance it's in there. Chance of zero. I'd put money that maybe it's there. You're losing your money. Okay. So, will you help me? I don't know, I want to, but keeping a secret from Holt, that's a lot of pressure. Hmm. Am I remembering correctly? Don't you eat pressure for breakfast? <gasps> Nick Cage in the rock. We are best friends, I am so in. Oh no, that's Raymond. That's how he opens the door. Kevin, are you still in here? Uh, yes, Raymond, I'm in the stall. Uh, some tickets were just released for Mahler's Fourth Symphony this weekend. Great, that sounds great. Let's do it. Fantastic. Now, which section do you prefer? The first tier, the second tier, the third tier? The first tier. Now, which section of the first tier? Right, left, right, center, center? Just any section is fine. <laughs> any section. Well, someone had pepper on their eggs this morning. I'll buy the tickets. <laughs> any section. Hey there. Where is Captain? Don't worry, he's safe. Look, Captain, I just want to say that I'm sorry. You should be. You should have abided by my security rules. You're right. But I want you to know I didn't take Kevin to the library because I was stir crazy. It's because I didn't want you guys to get divorced. How is that any concern of yours? I don't know. I just, I've been around so many failed marriages in my life. You know, first my mom and my dad, and Charles and Eleanor, Hitchcock and Brandy, Hitchcock and Francine, Hitchcock and Brandy again, Hitchcock and Madison. Madison wasn't his daughter, but he dropped her off at college last fall. I know, it was really gross, but the point is, I just couldn't stand to see you two fall apart. Perhaps I should have been more understanding what Kevin was going through. I may die here tonight, and his last memory of me will be how miserable I made him. So, Peralta! What do you have to say for yourself? The whole NYPD knows where you are, and they're coming for you right now. OK, thanks for the tip. Let's kill them both, get out of here before the cops come. Wait, no, 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 no. I was lying about the backup. I came alone, titled by sex tape. Doesn't matter. You're both going to die now. Better get some corticosteroids to treat that laryngeal fracture. Sorry, I couldn't bring myself to call him a dirt bag. And why would you? A dirt bag is a very useful part of the vacuum cleaner. Clearly, it's a compliment. Oh, you guys are so perfect for each other. Yeah, I stole those coins. Can't believe you bought that old story. They underestimated you, Randy, just as they underestimated Raymond Holt. Now, you guys haven't been that great to me either. Well, you gotta teach people how you want to be treated, Randy, Dr. Phil, RIP. The point is Captain Holt solved the case when no one else could. He's actually been stealing from these archives for years. You've been asleep at the wheel, Alistair. You're an embarrassment. Really? Well, at least I've never confused St. Augustine with Boethius. Oh, who gives a rat's ass about Boethius, Wesley? What are you doing, Kevin? I'm creating a kerfuffle. Oh, damn. Sure, my husband is a hot piece of ass. But he is so much more than just that. Raymond Holt is as smart as anyone in this department, but he chooses to use his intelligence to make our city a better place. One day, I hope to live up to the standard you set. You make me want to have a wetter brain. Oh, Kevin. Y'all are hella specific. Hello, Kevin. So uh, here's an update on Seamus. Thanks to our little operation, the FBI was able to roll up his entire organization. They're saying it's gonna be one of the most significant RICO prosecutions they've ever done. Amazing. It's over now. He can't hurt me or Kevin. Thank you for titting my tat. Well, thank you for tatting my tit. And you know, in a weird way, I'm gonna miss our little house. Yes, and in an even weirder way, I think I might actually miss you. Huh. And in an even weirder way, I want you guys to be my dads. That is weirder. Yeah, I got stuff. I uh, brought you your box of DVDs. Oh, thank you. Oh, forgot about this one. We never watched Captain Corelli's Mandolin. What the hell did you just say? Captain Corelli's Mandolin? Say that to my face. 
Captain Crowley's pendulum? There was a movie about a mandolin and you kept it from me for two months? Well, I didn't think it was any good. It's just some period piece. What? Set in Greece. Oh, my God. Based on some dumb book. Ah! Terribly sorry. It has been a very trying time. Yeah, next thing you're going to say, you wish we had watched Leaving Las Vegas, a dark, ponderous reflection on alcoholism that earned Cage's Oscar. Ah! What? I told you, the guy's got range! I refuse to put Kevin in harm's way. Understood, but I think maybe I have a way to put Kevin in danger without putting Kevin in danger. Well, hello there, Raymond. It's me, Kevin! And I am Detective Jacob Peralta. He didn't have anything else to wear, so we just switched. He understands. Okay, if we're gonna pull this off, we need to teach you how to move, talk, and act exactly like Kevin. In other words, we have ourselves a Pygmalion situation. Exactly, a pig mailman situation. Right. It'll be okay. Well, it'll be okay. Let's get started. Yes, let's get started! It's getting worse. Spot on, Kevin. Look, Raymond, a yellow-crested warbler. Look, Raymond, a yellow-crested warbler. No, you're too excited. The warbler is a common bird. Huh. And then I said, which metamorphosis, Kafka or Ovid? <laughs> he loves it. He loves it. Oh. So that's the joke. Now you tell it. Oh, OK. <clears throat> so a professor walks into a rare books collection. No, you've ruined it. Now it's not funny. Look, Raymond, a yellow-crested warbler. Look, Raymond, a yellow-crested warbler. Ugh, not excited enough. They may be common, but they're still birds. The 92nd Street Y had a wonderful symposium on just that topic. That's it? You're getting it? Ah, cool, 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 cool. Oh, don't say cool. Instead, say indeed. Oh, indeed, 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 indeed. <laughs> that's weird. Look, Raymond, a yellow-crested warbler. Yes! That's the right level of excitement for such a bird. You've captured the essence of Kevin. You've done it. Correction. I've accomplished it. Indeed. Indeed. Indeed, 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 indeed. It's growing on me. Gina, I know you like champagne with a drop of pomegranate juice. I like to say it's nature's classiest alcohol mixed with its nastiest fruit. <laughs> and Peralta, I hope this will do. It's a can of orange soda from when some other children visited. It's perfect. Thank you for inviting us in. Yes, I invited Gina in. You were with her. OK, look, everyone's blaming me for the captain's horrible mood because of a small thing that happened Wednesday morning. When you flooded his office with cider? Well, the water actually flooded it. The cider just caused it. But I swear, he was already upset when he got to work. He was anger articulating. Coat, coat, jacket, coat. Is this a police precinct or a Turkish bazaar? Mm, yes, I dread those enunciated denunciations. Yeah, I hate those denunciations. But so the, my question is, could something have happened at home before he left for work? Well, I remember that morning. He left this house at 7 and was in a great mood. In fact, he was still chuckling about the previous night's Charlie Rose. Fine, so your marriage might not be the problem. But he didn't get to work until 10. That means whatever ruined his mood happened in those three hours. We have to retrace his steps. We? I'm not going to investigate my own husband. Uh-huh, totally. Well, that was a great chit-chat, don't you think, Gina? Seemed like it went real bad for you. Chit-chat? Oh. Uh... You know, Kevin, maybe if we figure out what caused Raymond's bad mood, we could fix it. Great idea, do you know? I suppose we could look into it. Yes, great. Let's go right now. No time to lose. Don't look, just run. You're trying to get me out of here before I see the orange soda you spilled on that chair, aren't you? I'm already out the door. It worked. Is the captain home? No. Good. I figured out what happened to him. He was mugged. What? He told you this? No. I used my detective skills as well as my spot-on Holt impression to figure it out. I retraced his steps and found security footage. After he left fencing, three shady guys followed him into an alley. One of them had a knife. That's why he's been in such a bad mood. He's a police captain that got mugged. He's embarrassed. Oh, my goodness. Peralta. There he is. What are you doing in my house? Raymond, you were mugged? What? What did you say to him? Captain, it's OK. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. I'm not embarrassed, and I wasn't mugged. Three men tried to mug me, but I fought them off, injuring two of them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you heroically fought off three guys and that puts you in a bad mood? If I did that, I would literally write a song about myself. It would be like, Jake the hero, abs of steel, sha la la la. Why would you keep this from me? And why would you lie about going to fencing? Because he couldn't go. Because he's injured. I wasn't injured. I was lightly stabbed. I'm sorry. You were stabbed? 